Hey, baby girls. Hey, baby girls. I brought all my girls outside. We have Delilah and Bathsheba and Ray Ray and Chloe and Candace. Whoops, that's not pretty. But that's why we're outside. Candace and Chloe are in house training and they hate to come out. Their little feet are get, get cold because the ground is somewhat wet but definitely cold. It's probably, I don't know, it's in the high 30s probably. But I bring them out the back door and I carry them all the way back here to the fence and then set them down because if I set them down any closer to the back door, they just run back to the door. So I've been so busy this week. It's been a hit and miss and uh, they haven't gotten off to a real good start with house training. My husband has been working on it too. He gets up in the middle of the night and brings them out. But uh, <laughs> there they go. Everybody but Candace and she's busy. So uh, normally I start my young puppies that I'm keeping. I start them coming out as soon as I get them. And we come no matter what, if it's raining or snowing or sun shining, we come. And it usually, that usually helps. If I just put on a rain jacket and easy slip on shoes, I keep by the door so I can get them out quick. And we just come out, whether they like it or not. And they don't like it. Candace sitting there shivering. But Delilah and Sheba and Ray Ray being out here I think is helping they're not running right back to the door at least and uh, if I just stay consistent with this for three or four days they'll get to where they choose to potty outside even if it's not pleasant and, it, and as they learn that they can come right back in as soon as they potty they'll get to where they'll come straight out and take care of business and come straight back to the door. That's my plan. That has worked in the past, but I got to tell you, it's, it's, I don't know, I must be crazy to get new babies and try house training in the winter. <laughs> it's just not a good idea. Warmer weather makes everything better, but that's where we are. It was the right time to get new babies and uh, I want them all grown up by this time next year. This summer, they'll be half grown and they'll enjoy playing outside in the water and all the, we set up a tether ball and uh, we just keep all kinds of, we have a lot of green grass and clover in the winter, in the summertime. The winter time though, it's not, not very pleasant out here for them or me. But anyway, I just wanted to show this is how we normally do house training. People are always asking me <clears throat> what's the best way to house train. And I have always said uh, by having an older dog that's already house trained makes things go a little quicker for new ones to learn. But sometimes that works against me too because sometimes the older ones are such a distraction the babies forget why they come outside they get distracted they play and then when we think that everybody's taking care of their business we go back in and that's when they potty so in that case we just stay a little longer i stay out here with them and verify they have pottied it's it never works just by tossing your dog out the door and thinking they did what they're supposed to do. They have to be worked with. Yes, they do. Don't they, baby? Don't they? Yes, they do. So keep you a pair of flip-flops by the door, a jacket, <clears throat> and hey, take them out yourself. <coughs> Let your older dogs, if you have them, uh, come with you so they can kind of see what the purpose of coming out in yucky weather is all about 
<laughs> it's all about playing, isn't it, girls? <laughs> uh, anyway, I just wanted to do a little house training video to show how we do it here at Bogan's Boston's.